Hey there, welcome back to the We Miss the Exit Show. Sorry it's been a while. F1's been done for a well, a couple weeks now, but we're finally getting around to doing our Abu Dhabi Grand Prix review. And yes, uh, it was the final race of the season, the 2022 season, and we're on a break till March uh, as far as races go. And uh, it was a exciting season, new cars, um, new designs for cars, and uh, we teams learned a lot, a lot of changes, a lot of surprises. Maybe we'll do a little bit of uh, what we thought about the at the beginning of the season versus what we thought about the end of the season as we get um, in a little bit. Um, obviously, we're having not we don't have a whole lot of time to do stuff, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I'd like to do something, but uh, all depends on time. All right, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Uh, that was definitely not October 23rd. Uh, forgot to update the dates here, but um, all right, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Uh, great start from the Red Bulls right off the bat, uh, going into turn one to uh, Leclerc attacking Perez, trying to get around him. Um, great battle between those two all race. We'll get to that. Uh, signs going on the inside of Hamilton. Hamilton goes off the track and gains an advantage. Um, per se, he keeps fourth place. Uh, definitely seems like Signs should have gotten the position, but um, lap by the time we get to lap four, Hamilton decides to give fourth place back, or he's told by his team to give fourth place back. The um, the racing people, judges, stewards, uh, said he didn't have to give it back, but that uh, came in, at least as far as we're concerned, after he had already given it back. Um, given back fourth place to Sainz. Uh, lap 5, uh, Hamilton and Sainz are battling, and Hamilton does get around Sainz, but the Red Bulls start to pull away. Um, different tire strategies for a lot of the teams today. Uh, lap eight, Sainz gets back, uh, catches back up, and is attacking Hamilton and gets past him. Uh, Hamilton struggling a little bit. We'll get to that later. Lap nine, uh, Russell uh, is told that the it is a fair race between him and Hamilton, and he does just that. Does just that. He attacks Hamilton and gets past him on lap nine. Hamilton losing power. He's having some issues staying on the track. Uh, gets a couple. Uh, Flags telling him that he needs to stay on the track and can't be uh, going off at turns. Uh, lap 13 starts the pitting. Albon pits. Uh, lap 14, Stroll pits. 15, Akan, Sonoda, Schumacher, Gasly all pit. Uh, lap 16 is when we have the race leaders start to pit. Perez pits. Uh, Russell, um, yeah, Perez pits, goes on hards. Russell pits. Uh, slow pit for him, and he has an unsafe release, almost hits Norris, a little, uh, real close, great reaction from Norris to prevent any actual collision, uh, but Russell, uh, is going to get looked at for that. Uh, like I said, Norris pits, Joe also pits. Uh, lap 17, Sainz comes into the pits, uh, lap 19, Hamilton pits, lap 21, Verstappen pits, uh, and Leclerc takes the lead of the race. Lap 22, Leclerc pits, Max takes the lead back, and Perez is in second. And this is when we find out Russell is given a five-second penalty for the unsafe release. Um, the uns unsafe releases are tough. It is a penalty on the driver, first and foremost. Uh, obviously, a penalty on the driver, but is actually the team that causes the unsafe release, not the driver. Obviously, he can't really see that well, and he, he pulls out when he he's told to. Uh, but Russell is penalized. Nonetheless, uh, lap 28, Alonso is out. He's in the pits, and his car has retired. His horrible, not horrible for him, or horrible for him. He did a great job, did the best he could, but uh, that car, that Alpine car, was nothing but a disaster this season. Um, so many DNFs for them, so many mechanical issues. Uh, it was a fast car, uh, especially down the straights, but um, Alonso out of the race, his final race with Alpine. Obviously, he's going to Aston Martin and replacing Vettel next year. Uh, tough run. Uh, Renault got him two championships, and uh, it would have been nice to see him at least be a challenger for one when he uh, with his return. And let's see here. Um, lap 32, Leclerc is catching the Red Bulls. Uh, Verstappen, uh, Perez is right on Verstappen, and Perez is thinking Verstappen's holding him up. Uh, I personally think Verstappen's just watching his tires, 
Uh, he's still driving pretty fast, keeping a uh, decent distance. Uh, Perez obviously wants him to step on it with Leclerc catching him, but Leclerc's on one on fresher tires. They had a great car all, all weekend, um, but uh, Leclerc's burning through tires, and the Red Bulls should have been saving their tires at that time. Lap 39. Uh, Mick Schumacher gets a little too close to Latifi. Um, you know, you see an accident, Latifi's involved, you just assume that it was him, uh, but it wasn't. This one was Mick's fault. Uh, they both end up spinning. Uh, both continue on the race. It was a, a little tap, so no real damage to either car, but Mick Schumacher does get a five-second penalty in his final race uh, in F1 for uh, hitting Latifi. Must have been weird for Latifi to be on the other end of that, but... Um, he doesn't really say much. Lap 50, uh, Sainz and Russell both pit. Lap 45, Perez passes Hamilton. Hamilton passes him back. It was a great battle between those two. Uh, go on, goes on for a couple laps, and then on lap 47, uh, Perez gets past Hamilton yet again, and this time he's going to keep it. We're getting towards the end of the race, lap 55. Sainz gets past Hamilton, and all of a sudden... Um, Hamilton's out. He completely loses power. It is believed it had something to do with issues from when he um, sort of went airborne in the beginning of the race when he and Sainz were battling. Uh, lap 57, Perez and Leclerc are battling. They are tied for points at this point. Whoever um, finishes higher than the other one is going to get second place in the championship. They are battling um, on the last couple laps and it comes down to the end. Perez catching Leclerc, but Leclerc ends up in P2. Um, he had a great race. If uh, Ferrari can get their stuff together, it's going to be hopefully amazing battle between uh, Leclerc and Verstappen next year. Those two um, battling, um, you know, they have such a long history, such uh, respect between the two of them. If they're be able, able to battle neck and neck, wheel to wheel, um, like they were at the beginning of this year. Um, we are in for some great racing next year. Sorry to make it quick, not a whole lot of time, but just want to do uh, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix uh, review. Let us know in the comment section below if you do want us to do any more content throughout the season. Um, and like I said, Max Verstappen is your winner, Leclerc second, Perez third. Perez right behind Leclerc, it came down, um, you know, two two tenths of a second, two hundredths of a second, something like that. Um, it was really close. Oh no, two seconds. Uh, but they were right on each other. Came right down to the end. Uh, Abu Dhabi predictions versus reality. I was all wrong with everything except for Verstappen. Uh, I did have uh, Perez beating Leclerc. Um, did not predict Hamilton will get out. Um, yeah, I got a lot of the top 10, but I did not. I only got one correct here. And my driver of the day has got to go to Sebastian Vettel. Uh, we go back here. You can see uh, Vettel ended up in 10th place. Um, you know, great la re last race for him. He um, did a great job. He had a, you know, given how the struggles with that car, uh, he had a great season. And it's a great send off. It would have been nice to see him do a little bit more work when he was with Ferrari. But uh, that was out of his hands. Uh, a lot of Ferrari issues for the last few seasons. Um, We'll get to that if we ever do some news. Uh, some big changes come to Ferrari. Um, like I said, Max Verstappen is your champion. Leclerc in second and Perez in third. Russell fourth. Sainz fifth. Hamilton sixth. Uh, Norris seventh. Akon eighth. Alonso ninth. Botas tenth. Vettel eleventh. Ricardo twelfth. Magnussen thirteenth. Gasly fourteenth. Stroll fifteenth. Uh, Schumacher sixteenth. Sonoda seventeenth. Joe 18th, Albon 19th, DeVries 20th, and Latifi 21st. Your Constructors Championships, uh, Red Bull wins. Uh, we've known that for quite a while now. Uh, Ferrari 2nd, Mercedes 3rd, Alpine 4th. Um, great rebound from them uh, from last year. McLaren 5th, dropped in a little bit. Uh, Alvar Mayo coming back a little bit. They ended up in 6th. Aston Martin 7th. Haas actually scored points this year, which is nice for them. They ended up in 8th, ahead of Alfa Tori in 9th. And uh, Alfa Tori, huge, huge drop this year. And uh, Williams in 10th. All right, like I said, um, comment below um, and let us know if you want us to do some stuff in the offseason. We'll see if we have some time. We do have some ideas, um, like to do some stuff, but 
uh, requires a lot of work. Not a lot of work, but it requires time. And uh, in the meantime, if you follow us on uh, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, uh, and we will be on Twitch every now and, now and then. We do some gaming, um, some basketball stuff. Um, like I said, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. That's where we're posting the most. Actually, it's been mostly Instagram lately with the basketball uh, King of the Hill championship trophy, whatever you want to call it. It's changed names about a thousand times, but it's quite interesting to do to uh, see how our teams are doing. Uh, just a hint, I'm in last place, even though I have the best teams. It's just a fun thing we do. So like I said, go follow us on um, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, uh, everything we're at. We miss the exit. And uh, like, subscribe, and get in contact with us. We're, uh, we may not post a lot, but we're active. We check messages and are happy to talk to people. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next season, if not sooner.